Yeah. Your mom makes pretty good hummus. I'd like to try some of her other dips. Lads, I can't do this for much longer. Please help me. Anyway, welcome back to episode 6 of the US In Between Us. I am well and truly at breaking point if you can't tell. I'm just going to get straight into reviewing this episode because there's quite a lot I want to discuss. So sit back, grab some hummus and enjoy. And also like the video, 5,000 likes for part 7, let's go. So there's three main plot lines in this episode and I think it's useful to talk about them separately because all three plot lines are very interesting and there's a lot to discuss about all of them. We have Will getting bullied by Donovan all episode, we have Jay trying to become the class clown, not gonna happen buddy, and we have Simon, you guessed it, simping over Carly. Neil, well, poor Neil didn't get a storyline, sorry about that one lad. So in terms of Will, this episode revolves around him being bullied by Donovan, who for the first time actually speaks and doesn't just silently follow Will around school. At the start of the episode, Donovan steals Will's briefcase for no reason and eats his mum's hummus really weirdly bit weird that but anyway when will gets home his mum realizes that someone stole his hummus and she decides to teach will self-defense in doing this she comes out with quite frankly the weirdest quote of the whole series yet get up on your feet let's go now come at me like you're gonna rape me god mom this show is sh within this plot line we also see more of mr gilbert and the show somehow butchered his character even more. Essentially, Will decides to go to Mr. Gilbert and complain about Donovan, and Mr. Gilbert refuses to help because we find out that Mr. Gilbert is basically a massive simp for Donovan who just twerks for him at any opportunity and is too scared to punish him for anything he does. Not bad, Mr. Gilbert. <laughs> hey, call me Gene. That's a realistic head teacher right there. Now, I know that in the UK version, Mr. Gilbert did in fact often let Donovan get away with doing stuff to Will, but this was not because he was scared of Donovan and wanted to be his friend, like is the case in the US version. This was purely because the UK Mr. Gilbert genuinely disliked Will and liked seeing him suffer. This fit in perfectly with his character and his character's traits, and to take that character and make him an absolute fucking loser, like we have with the US Mr. Gilbert is an insult to the original. This plot line then ends in the weirdest way imaginable. Essentially from what I gather, Will either shits in his briefcase or puts someone else's shit in his briefcase so that when Donovan tries to steal the food from his briefcase, he instead encounters human feces. I'm being genuinely serious. Why are you holding your briefcase like that? No reason. I had taken a dump in it. Fortunately, before this happens, Mr. Twerk for Donovan Gilbert stops him taking the briefcase and Will is gutted because his absolutely vile plan of putting shit in a briefcase didn't work. The US in between is everyone. Moving swiftly on to Jay's plotline now, and this was a pretty forgettable plotline as a whole. Essentially, all that happens is that Jay decides to go for class clown. Uh, good luck with that one, lad. When he tells his friends that he intends to do this, his friends accurately portray every single viewer's feelings towards Jay. There's something funny about you. Yeah, I mean, you're just a dick. Throughout the episode, Jay just tries to be funny and fails, and everyone votes for this Nicky D geezer who's just some weird mime who tips his hat to everyone sick show. We're also introduced for the first time to Jay's dad, who solidifies my argument in previous videos that the parents in the American version are Tesco value versions of the parents in the UK version. Whilst he does have the obnoxious and arrogant traits that the UK Jay's dad did, oh that was a tongue twister, he's again extremely one dimensional. All he does is tell Jay that if he doesn't get a class clown he'd be an embarrassment to the Cartwright legacy. And that's it. Shit character. This 
plot line ends with Jay giving up on being class clown and trying to be cool instead, and then he inadvertently makes everyone laugh by crashing a motorcycle into a bush, and everyone because of that starts voting for him for class clown. Such a sick plot line. Finally, we move on to Simon's plot line, which is for the 47th episode running, him simping over Carly. I fully appreciate that Simon simping over Carly was a huge part of the UK version, but it wasn't the staple of every episode. I'm so sick of every episode being based around this. Does Simon's character literally care about anything else apart from Carly? So this plotline starts with Carly telling Simon that her family is staying at his house because their house is getting worked on it or something. Simon then comes out with the proper creepy comment. Remember all those sleepovers we used to have? Every single one. So Simon starts cleaning up his childish room to try and impress Carly or something. Like literally this guy completely destroys his room to try and make it look cool and it just ends up looking like a crack house as Carly states in the actual episode. I don't remember it looking so crack housey. Good job Simon lad. Within these scenes we also see more of Simon's brother Todd who I previously slagged off and I think part two of these videos. Whilst I stand by the fact that he doesn't really portray the brotherly relationship as well as Simon's brother did in the UK version, I've got to admit that this character is kind of funny. He'll just come out with some sarcastic comment at any given opportunity to wind up Simon and it's actually relatively funny, I've got to give him that. No, Jay was right. Carly needs to feel like she's in a man's room. Send her into mine. Shut up, Todd. There's then this weird scene where Carly gives Simon some therapy, meditation, astro projection thing. I don't really know. And then Simon just randomly tries to kiss Carly out of nowhere. Again, very dodgy lad. I'm surprised none of these characters have caught a case yet. And yeah, that's pretty much the end of that. As a whole, this episode was... I don't know, it's got it's got to the point that you can only slag it off so much. I'm just tired at this point. There are 12 episodes of this shambles of a series, and I've only watched six of them. I think that's the most painful thing. For the next part, as I said, let's hit 5,000 likes. It's a big target, we don't usually hit that, but I hate the show that much, so I've got to set it high. Also, please follow me on Twitter, at LombardiYT. Why did I say it like that? At LombardiYT, feel free to follow if you don't. The American Jay will ride a motorcycle into your house. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and bye.